Hey, what's up, shitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day for Shoot the Chip because this is the first time I'm going to be reviewing something with three wheels. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be taking a look at the Mooncool TK1 foldable trike you see here. Now, currently, this bad boy sells for $16.99, but fear not. You can save yourself $150 off that price by using coupon code STC150. And as always, guys, check the link in the description of this video for current pricing because these things are subject to change. But you know what, guys? I feel like that's enough small talk. What do you say we go over all the specs and features of this and see if it's, in fact, worth that price tag? And then we'll do the fun part and take this bad boy for a ride. What do you say, guys? Come on, let's get right into it. So here we are, up close and personal, with the Mooncool TK1 foldable trike. As I was putting together this trike, I was really impressed with the fit and finish and quality of everything. This is just a very well put together product, I can tell you right down to the paint which uh, by the way this is available in seven different color offerings but looking at the paint it's like there's a depth to it this is just a really nice good quality paint job this is metal fenders front and rear these fenders feel nice uh, i feel like they just took extra time and care with all the details this has 20 by 3 inch wheels no fat tires on this trike these are Chow Yang and they have a knobby tread pattern on them. 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. However, if you look here on the front, this is a typical orientation of a disc brake. But in the rear, there is a single disc brake that is mounted on the axle. If you're familiar, a lot of off-road vehicles, Humvees, a lot of uh, automotive stuff actually uses a setup like this where the rotor is on the rear. One of the really interesting things I see is the way this Mooncool 500 watt, 750 watt peak brushless geared hub motor is mounted. You have here your front chain ring, and when you pedal, it goes here to a free wheel in the back. Now, this is a single speed setup, and then you have your hub motor mounted right here. So you can see here, you back pedal, everything is kind of the same, except the wheel is not mounted to the hub motor. The hub motor goes, goes to another sprocket on the other side, and that transmits the power to the rear axle of this trike. Oh, it's got posi. You know, that's very important. In my town, if you ride around with a, one, with a single tire fryer, you'll get laughed clean out of town. So it's really nice to know that the Mooncool TK1's got posi. Let's see what happens if you try and hold. Oh wow, so this has some sort of differential in the rear because if you hold one tire, the other one will still spin. So that's really interesting. 500 watt motor, 750 watt peak, 48 volt, 20 amp controller. And the battery here is 48 volt, 14 and a half amp hour. Works, works out to be right about 700 watt hours of capacity. Two amp charger, which means this will take roughly seven and a half hours to charge from dead to completely full. The trike comes standard with the rear basket, as you see here, and the front. For the purposes of this review, I wasn't, I'm not, not going to install this on the front, but it comes with this front assembly here. You can bolt to the front of the <clears throat> trike and it comes with this basket as well. And on their website, they have a variety of different uh, accessories you can put inside of these baskets, like basket liners, which can be fabric boxes that go in there. They have pet carriers. They have all sorts of different uh, accessories you can use for the rear, which is, makes it very usable. You can see here, that's a very large basket, which is nice. So if you have small pets, you can put them in here. You can go grocery shopping with this. You can do a lot of functional things with the trike, which is nice because this has a 350 pound capacity. So you could put, I'm 250 pounds, meaning I can carry 100 pounds of cargo on here. If you're a lighter rider, you can carry even more. Mooncool claims this will fit a rider between five foot and six foot three, so it fits a wide range of riders. Has a front suspension fork, which is adjustable in two ways. It has adjustable compression here, which is lockout or open, and adjustable preload here on the left stanchion. This sticker on the fork says sus. You know, I kind of like that because, you know, for you guys, you're not in the know, sus kind of stands for suspect, like sus, that guy's kind of sus. So, that being said, I think I found a good use for it. I'm guessing this is going to be a nice, cushy, comfortable ride because check this seat out. That has a lot of cushion in there. Okay, so to fold the trike, you're going to go here first to the middle and there's this latch, flip it open, and then that allows you to fold the front part of the frame in half. From there, you can also fold down the handlebars 
And then that swings down. Well, it does fold, guys. It's not gonna, it's still gonna take up a rather large footprint in comparison to a bike. There we go. Here's what a six foot two rider looks like on the Mooncool TK1. I can already tell you just sitting on it, that seat feels rather, really nice. As well as the handlebars being folding, you can also extend them using the quick release here and allows you to raise them up a little bit or lower them down. So it's adjustable in height as well as being foldable. Moving on to the cockpit of the trike, you have your rubberized grips here that have for palm support. These have a nice feel to them. You have your hydraulic disc brake handles here and uh, right away, these feel nice and firm. Cute little like mini BMX bars. I like the way these look and they feel nice and thick. Okay, to turn on the trike, you wanna hold down the M button for a couple seconds and that'll turn on your display. This is a very basic display, but it gives you all the information you're gonna need. Has your battery gauge here, has your speedometer, your odometer. You toggle through the various pedal assist levels, you're gonna press plus or minus. And it looks like this has five levels of pedal assist, but more on that when we actually take it for a ride. Now, if you look over here on your right, this bike is, this trike is equipped with a horn. That's a pretty decent horn. You're definitely going to get people's attention with that. And the turn signals. To use your turn signals, you're going to press either left or right. And let's see what that looks like on the rear. So I was actually kind of expecting it to light up these lights on the fenders, but it lights up the light on the right in the middle. And if you use the brakes, it lights up all three of the rear lights. So that's going to be nice. And people behind you are going to know when you're using your brakes and which way you're going. However, up here on the front, when you do have the turn signals on, you do not have an indicator in the front. So you might be riding around for a while just with your blinkers on and won't even know. To turn on the headlight, you want to hold down the plus button for a couple seconds and then to turn on the headlight. You can see here the headlight pattern on the wall. Another cool feature is this trike has a parking brake. So in order to use the parking brake, you want to press the brake handle. You have to press it in kind of hard. And then you push that little tab in and then you let it go. And you can see here, it's keeping the brake lever compressed. So this is gonna, I imagine, is you don't have a kickstand on the trike. So when you stop, you don't want this thing to just roll off when you get off, you use your handy dandy parking brake. Disengage the parking brake, just press the brake handle again. And there you go. And it looks like there's a parking brake on both brake levers as well. So I'm guessing you could probably park this thing on some pretty serious inclines. All right, guys, we've gone over all the specs and features. Now we're going to go do the fun part. And I'm actually really looking forward to this one because it's my first time riding a trike. So we're going to go outside and do just that. Come on, guys, let's get going. All right, guys, we are out and about on the Mooncool TK1. And right away, I just have to tell you, the handling on this is drastically different than a bicycle because all the steering is done with the handlebars. You don't lean your weight. So we're in pedal assist one, we're doing seven. Pedal assist two, going up to about nine. Pedal assist three, ooh. <laughs> we get a little two wheel action there in that corner. Pedal assist three, looks like we're going about 11, 12. Pedal assist four, we're going up about, uh, I think about 14. Pedal assist five, we're going all the way to the promised land. I think it's 15 miles an hour. Well, this thing takes really sharp turns, really sharp corners. I can definitely see you guys, you do not want to crank the steering wheel on this while you're going any uh, significant amount of speed because you'll probably get bucked right off. Bike just starts rolling off. Don't forget guys, we got our handy dandy parking brake. So, you know, since we're on the trike, I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to stick my backpack right here in the back bag. What a perfect fit that ends up being. How do we look? So, we're going to disengage our parking brake by pushing back on the brake lever, letting go. Now we're off. You can see here with what I mean. So if you crank the handlebars, you can get this thing on two wheels fairly easy. So you do have to be more cognizant of how fast you're making dis uh, direction changes on the Mooncool TK1. But uh, we look pretty cool, don't we? I have to say, it is a bit weird. I'm so used to stopping a bike and then having to get off with this. You just stop and it's like, hey, what's going on? Oh, let's keep going. So it is pretty cool. Different sensation. I do really like the way this looks. And let me bring up a point right away. Um, with trikes, my dad was telling me that one of his friends at work, his wife rides a trike. And the reason being is she had a neurological disorder, so she lost her ability to balance. So trikes serve a functional purpose as well, 
because some people can't ride bikes anymore. So this fills that niche where if you can't have, you don't have the ability to ride a bike anymore, perhaps mobility issues, or you can't balance anymore, well, maybe trike's the right option for you. How do we look? I feel like this is gonna get a lot of attention in a good way. Surprisingly, this thing fills, you know, for a 500 watt motor, 750 watt peak, I think maybe it's just the way this is geared, but this feels surprisingly torquey. I'm not feeling like this is lacking any power. It is a, definitely a different sensation than riding a bicycle, so I, mean, I might reference that a few times along the ride, guys, just because, uh, you know, we're all, we're all learning together on this one, getting used to it myself. I find myself wanting to shift gears, and remember, this is a single speed. Now you need attention. Just simply honk the horn and people will look at you. I need to get some, uh, a couple supplies from the store, so what better way to do it than in style with the Mooncool TK1. So we're gonna head on over to the Dollar General. It's really interesting, you can tell that there's a differential at work with this because if the rear was just a locked axle and both tires were moving at the same speed, you would feel a significant amount of jerking around corners. But this smoothly goes around corners and give you sense of what that looks like in action here. So as we turn, the wheels will in fact turn at different ratios. Well, I've noticed that I think the brake sensors on this are staying engaged slightly, and then I won't be able to use the power. Like right now, if you look, the power is not working. But if I kind of like hit the brakes a couple times, then usually the, yeah, the power is working again. So we're about to head into the Dollar General. I'm gonna buy some groceries. Let's see what we can fit on the Mooncool TK1. Here we go, three 12 packs, no problem. You know, another reason I like the parking brake on this, I feel like somebody's gonna try and run in and just grab your bike and leave your trike. They would grab it and then it's like, hey, it's not moving. So they'd be forced to pick it up and move it because I think most people wouldn't realize that there's a brake on here. Well, check out that. I got competition. And we're off on the Mooncool TK1, loaded with three 12 packs of Dr. Pepper Zero Calorie. <laughs> Noticing that's a different from riding this on a bike is that when you're riding on a sloped road, the trike will naturally want to follow the slope of the road. So it's similar to, you know, riding a car or a truck, it'll just want to track to wherever gravity is taking it. So you have to keep your hands on the handlebars at all time. I mean, it kind of goes without saying, but if you take your hands off, it will follow whatever direction the road is sloped. I'm noticing that with the gearing of this trike as well, 15 miles an hour, you start to kind of ghost pedal anyway, so it seems like they geared it pretty well for what it's gonna be capable of doing. All right, let's do a little brake test here. We're at 15 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and see how well it stops. Oh yeah, it, uh, it stops pretty well. You got the 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes front and rear, and they do their job. 115, 100 pounds for the trike, plus the three 12 packs and a 250 pound rider. I'm not feeling like this is lacking braking power whatsoever. You know, when I saw that this was 500 watts, I was thinking that maybe it would feel underpowered, but maybe it's just the way it's geared or what. The 500 watt feels fine, especially for a bike that's, uh, especially for a trike that has a top speed of 15 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna test the cat-like agility of the Mooncool TK1. This little zigzag section here, I like to call the Antioch Lombard. Oh, no problem. This thing takes really sharp corners. Uh, granted, you don't want to do it very fast, but man, look how, look how sharp you can cut the corner here. This is another time where the parking brake comes in handy. Look, just sitting right up here on a hill all by itself. Right, let's take this corner here. Look how sharp it can take a corner. Let's go faster this time. Ooh, a little two wheel action. You can turn around 180 degrees within the section of this little path right here. I can't get over the U-turn radius of the trike. Check it out from this perspective. It's like you can almost turn around 180 degrees in the same exact spot. See that? It's like the rear of the bike didn't really move at all. I'm gonna try a little bit of off-roading on the trike. However, I would highly uh, not recommend this if, for if you're interested in doing any sort of off-roading. Okay, so far so good. It's doing okay on the gravel. We 
survived. Something else I wanted to point out is when I was putting this together, you take out the seat here, just check out how thick the frame is. Now, a lot of the bikes I put together, it's significantly thinner aluminum than this. That is really thick. It's very good construction quality. The fenders are nice and solid. Everything is just built really well to withstand, you know, you riding around with cargo or your weight. So I just thought I wanted to point that out because that's uh, significantly thicker than pretty much any other bike I've ever reviewed. And even take a look at the seat clamp. The seat clamp is uh, very robust itself. Let's see if we can make it up this hill, this incline right here, throttle only. And let's go. It's going, it's still going. Oh. <laughs> Woo. That was interesting. Unfortunately, there is a casualty in this test. It's one of my Dr. Pepper Zeros is uh, look like it's out for the count. So I'm gonna let that bleed out and then we're gonna get back on the trike. And with a run up this time, and uh, this time if I don't make it, instead of hitting the brakes, I'm gonna start paddling. No, we got it this time. I wanna get this trike thinking you're gonna climb, my, climb out over us, but I feel like you're gonna be able to get up most hills with the, maybe not throttle only, but you're gonna have to help it pedaling a bit yourself as well. There is a differential on here. You notice right there it says tricycle differential or bicycle differential. And you do feel it working. So if you take a super sharp corner, you can tell that one tire will stop turning and it makes a little bit of a noise. So I do think that's really neat. There's a significant amount of engineering that went into putting this thing together rather than just putting an electric motor on the rear. It's a well thought out implementation. So for me, being the first time riding a trike, there is definitely a learning curve and i feel like you know if you have one of these within a few weeks you'd probably be a professional so you do have to find yourself being much more aware of what terrain you're going on rather than just blindly going forward and over anything so be cautious moon coal states on the site that this can get a range between 35 and 60 miles um, i'm highly skeptical of those uh claims but uh, that being said, I'm five miles into the ride now and I'm still showing per full battery bars. So I would guess you could probably get 20 miles relatively easy. Well, there you guys have it. It's the Moonkull TK1. Some things I really like about this trike is, uh, first off, it's extremely well built. Everything about this screams this is a very high quality product. The paint, the fit and finish, the gauge of the aluminum, it's very good quality product. Um, second, I like that you can customize the storage on this bike, on the trike, so it has this really big rear basket. You have the front basket. You can get different accessories from Mooncool, such as the pet carrier, basket liners. You can option this thing out and make it extremely useful. Some things I'm not too fond of, uh, it's obviously much bigger, so it's gonna take a bigger footprint in your house. It's gonna be a learning curve, so thinking that you're gonna hop on this and just immediately adjust to riding the trike, you're not. And really, that's about it. But if you're interested in purchasing a Mooncool TK1, you can use the link in the description of this video and use coupon code STC150 to save yourself $150 off your purchase. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.